now for the second item in week seven, I've made a, another change. I decided, and I changed the order again this week. So by the way, right now, you should be taking a few notes in class topics, okay? So we're gonna, I, I went and looked at the rest of the course. I'd kind of already scanned it already, but we're going to, um, so after the 32 minute mark that we did last week, I'm gonna have you finish this up doing the code along, right? So we're still working, in this case, on our, whatever you called your branch, right? And I was looking through and it's like, and I'm going to have you do the rest of this. Um, but the most important part, let me say it this way, is towards the end. Where he starts talking about the grid and the menu and stuff like that. So this, you know, I'm going to have you do the rest of it uh, from the 32 minute mark, right? So, so where you start last time to the end. Again, adding to your cheat sheet. Uh, you're adding to your, your cheat sheet or whatever you called uh, your branch, right? Like I showed before. So, oh, I have something opened here. So let me go ahead and open up my, um, this, right? So on this branch that we are working on uh, for, uh, and it's taking a second to come in here. All right. There we go. So on the Learn Bootstrap branch. Right. Okay, so that's what you are going to finish up for this part. And again, uh, what you will do is, uh, now this, in this case, I want, uh, again, at least two commits uh, through this process. I'll let you decide where you want them, but I, I don't want them all at the end, <laughs> right? So I want you to make two commits through here. And it kind of makes sense to divide it evenly, right? So we've started around the 32. So let's just say around 50. Let's see where we're at here. We're looking at, yeah, so around, yeah. So maybe around the 50 minute mark, you make another commit and then you'll make a commit. So two more commits, one about 50 and then one at the end. And then you'll do again the git push and push that up and provide a link to your branch as we did last time for the lecture, okay? So um, my hope is that now having been through the crash course, you will have enough uh, knowledge uh, to um, be able to dig in and uh, analyze whatever bootstrap template you select. So now that's the next thing we're gonna do. So I've ordered these in an order I'd recommend going through them. Well, you need to. So now bootstrap template, right? So now I want um, you all to go out and do some searching. So it's if you think contextually what we're doing here is we're using bootstrap, which A, makes development faster. And then on top of that, we're gonna use a template, somebody else's you know starting point to, um, to actually even get a quicker start so that most of the time what you're doing is working once we get past this week on the setup for your project zero okay that's really where we're heading and I say review your code here but that's actually what we're going to do in the next step um, so but to just help you here um, there's a couple ways I, I mean really there's one uh, that, and most of you I think will be using bootstrap 3 and do free templates um, and of course there's uh, start bootstrap here be careful uh, there's only the first f uh, couple six here that are free uh, the rest of these are paid so the idea is not for you to have to pay for one but that you can go through and find and these are somewhat duplicated there no actually there's more here okay so there's more uh, templates here so the key is when you're looking for a template you want a something that you like right that reflects your style uh, and that's you know the first thing you want to look at and then you can do previews and but but look through some really honestly look through some because the thing is with our project zero we need something with the menu now this wouldn't be appropriate because it doesn't have a menu right this has a menu so that would work bootstrap I think this is just a hero image I don't see a menu maybe there is one so you're gonna want something now side you know you could use a sidebar possibly as a menu so you want something now here's the other thing 
if you find something that you like, because you now have enough experience giving, given the, the crash course, you could add that menu, right? So there's not to say you can't. I'm just saying, right? So here's what you want to do. You want to spend some time and you all need to select something different, a different template that you're going to use, okay? So spend some time and then when you decide this is the one I'm going to move forward with, right? Then you copy that link, you come into here in your discussion, right? Uh, and then uh, and then research, right? It's, it's time to start looking at the template itself. Uh, research and actually I think I'm going to change the writing here because really what I want you to talk about, uh, so I'm glad because uh, this is actually more from last time, last semester and I, I should have done a better job here. I spent more on the next item but regardless. So in your notes, uh, here what I want you to talk about is how did you go about choosing um, this template, right? Uh, so uh, that's, that's the, you know, like what what went into your decision? What was it that appealed to you? Um, because the thing is, you're just browsing right now, right? So these are just like, this is the one I think, right? Yeah, and I actually would tell you this is the one you probably want to use because switching at this point would cause a lot of rework, right? So um, find one that you think you're wor uh, working your style and your level of understanding because these things can get really complicated. Uh, really fast, but there's also just these basic ones to get started with, okay? So again, give us a link to the one uh, that uh, I showed this one, right? And so then talk about the process you used. Like how many did you look at? That'd be good to know. How many did you look at? Did you just go with the first one rather than to really spend a little time thinking about your own style and really what appeals to you? Right? And if you did, just be honest, right? Be honest about that because this is the thing you're going to have to work. You're, this is the thing we're now going to take to the end of the course for you to do your project zero. So make sure you've given us enough thought is my whole point about that. Okay? All right, so now, now uh, that's the current topic. So you can see how everything's building upon each, each other to lead you to using this. And now I want you to look at the code. So now you're going to need to download it. So let me switch over. I'm gonna switch over to to my Mac. And so when you download these files, right? So like here, I think I, this was one I did, right? So I downloaded it. Now when you download it, you get. Um, most people it goes into their downloads folders depending on how your Chrome is set up and then you get these zip files right and then uh, uh, these days you can just actually double click and do that or you can extract them into a full directory okay so now once you get them into a full directory in your editor you just do file open folder and then browse to that location go to your downloads and I see I have two here that I was just kind of looking at and so now what you want to do is start looking at the code so now on our hands-on part of this week and actually I could have opened that one right so you want to start looking at because there's like how much of this like so first thing I always do is open up the index file and I start looking through it so it's like okay we have a link to bootstrap men file but I can tell this is in a local folder it's not a CDN so I'd go over here and I'm like oh, okay vendor gotcha bootstrap yep that folder right there so what they've done is in the bootstrap file the bootstrap template they didn't do the CDN like we did for the crash course they actually have these things loaded locally okay so there is the bootstrap minify version and it's interesting right they also provided the non minification version which is just more stuff so it's kinda like when we get to next week and I have you actually pick this apart this is where the time that you spend here will be very very helpful so then it's like okay what's this custom font a lot of these things are very well documented so the more time you spend understanding it the better so okay so we have a vendor we have a font awesome uh, okay so then we have so we have a combination here so on this line again this is what you're gonna do for your own template and now what I want you to do is kinda of figure out what do I know and what do I need to know because for lecture that's what I'm gonna have you do next week is I'm actually going to for the your template selected individually go through and analyze the template. How'd they do that? Where does that come from? What would I need to use this template, right? Because we'll end up uh, piecing together the pieces that you need, 
So just, just FYI, right? So I want you to start looking to here. And here's going to be some directories. You're going to be, what does that mean? Oh, it's only one file. Oh, it's a PHP file. Hmm, I wonder what that does. And I can just tell you, it's a contact me. So it's what, and when you hit a submit on a contact page, that's what it runs. We don't need that. You don't need to bring it over, right? What's this? Less. Oh, so uh, CSS has what's called a preprocessor. And less uh, actually is kind of a programming way to write CSS code. We're not going to do that. You don't need it. JavaScript, yeah. Um, we're not going to do anything, but the template probably needs it. And that's where looking at your index file, spending time getting to know what files are in here is important. Okay, so this is the part, this is your first review of this template, right? Uh, and then here, get ignore. Now this is not, uh, let me see, I don't believe as of right now, this is a Git repository, and I actually it isn't because we have not um, done a Git init, right? So it's not a Git repository. So we're not going to create one here. The idea here is just for you to take some time to get to know the file. We'll end up piecing this together over in your repo for your GitHub I.O., right? Gulp, what's that? Hmm. So gulp is something that we just barely start, and it's not, it's, more, there's actually what we call workflow uh, apps that actually are workflow processes that handle uh, from the time you write your uh, HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. It actually metifies it. It does some lengthening. It can do some workflow automation for you so that um, so that what gets actually outputted to the server uh, is in a state that's ready in production. Now for this class it's beyond the scope of what we cover here, okay? So we don't need that, right? Uh, licensing, it's always good to understand the license. Always, always good to understand the license of these things. Read through the license. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things I'm going to tell you is you've got to read through this. And I'm telling you, most of them will be MIT because it's free of charge. You can use it as you want. Right? Uh, but they will often say make sure you give a reference back. Package JSON. So this is where, again, beyond the scope of this class, but what is a package JSON? Right? So a package JSON is again one of these command line when you're doing NPM. Uh, and this is Node Package Manager, you can tell it, okay, look at all the things that I need, go find these dependencies and bring them in. Again, beyond the scope. But let's see, we have an HTML file. But here's one of the most important files for this particular template is look at this. It's got a whole bunch of documentation, right? So do you can see the level of just a few minutes that I spent and you need to spend some time looking at that code, looking at the license, looking at the way it's set up, right? But the key is, right, is to open in the other hand, see how much you've learned about Bootstrap and how it's organized as far as the file folders, which is what I just did with you a little bit, just a touch of it. But I'm telling you, the more you get to know this, the more that when you get to next week, when you actually have to piece together this template into your uh, folder, it's going to be easier because I'm not going to want you to bring everything in. I only want you to rebuild the pieces that you need because, again, these things, there's a lot here, right? Let's see, it's got two pages, so let's see, I'd, and definitely you'd want to here look at this, right? You'd want to actually render this out, uh, look at it in a web page, so, you know, m making sure you could do that, uh, looking at, but you can also see from the website the way it looks as well. Okay, enough for this. So the key to this uh, is getting, uh, start getting to know your template, right? And then your post here, right? Uh, discuss what you know, what you don't know, what do you need to know, and what do you, uh, what you don't know about your template directory, uh, and then we'll that will help guide you into our lecture that we'll do uh, for week. Let's see, week, what week? We're at the end of week seven, right? So next week, uh, where we would have normally done uh, your next bootstrap, I'm gonna actually have you do some detailed analysis of that bootstrap file. Okay, that's going to be, and then uh, we're going to actually build it. So we're actually going to build that into your thing, and we'll talk about optimizing images. Okay, so everything's leading to Project Zero. Hopefully you get that feeling, because everything's leading that way, and learning Bootstrap along the process. All right, hopefully you got a few notes into your classwork doc there. So then all you'll need to also include is the link, is the place, uh, in this case, 
sorry, uh, you give me a link to your branch. In here, you're giving me a link to your template. And actually in here, I think what I'm gonna have you do is do a print screen of your template in your editor, right? And then talk about uh, what you know and what you don't know about that template so far. All right, talk to you later. Bye.